Pat mentioned how hot it was there in Paris. Temperatures in parts of France have hit a record 45.9 degrees Celsius. That's as the heat wave continues across Europe. France's weather service has issued a red alert for four areas. The heat's already claimed several lives. Restrictions have been stepped up on water use and 4,000 of the country's schools are now closed have brought in special measures. It's also, as you can imagine, affecting many tourists and trippers. Uh, like Tim Dobson, he's in the Alps in a white van where he's working for the summer. Early, he told me it's far hotter than he could have ever expected. I'm in southeastern France in the Haute Alps. I work remotely, so I've taken some of my work to France with me. I work in the technology industry and I've been driving around in my van and it's extremely hot here. The heat wave has been up to 35C in the valleys for the last few days. And it's been, you know, unbearable to work on a laptop in a van. Oh, you don't have to tell me I came out of my gym today after leaving my car in the car park for three hours and my top lip was, was running with water. After about five seconds, nobody wants to be in a car at this time of year. So did you know about the heat wave? Had you not factored it in? How are you managing to keep cool? Well, I mean, I don't think anybody was expecting... I was expecting it to be warm, but I wasn't expecting it to be this warm. I've been trying to stay in the shade. I've been trying to get as high up the mountains as possible. So right now I'm at Col de la Bonnette, which is the highest mountain pass in the French Alps. It's at 2,700 meters. And that means that it's about 10 degrees cooler than it is in the valleys right now. And by staying in the shade up here, it's kind of down to a reasonable 20 or so degrees, which is just about bearable. Uh, and, you know, with a lot of water on hand, I can sit outside and enjoy the views and get on with my work and yeah. somehow, you know, hope to survive and hope that the evenings are going to be a bit cooler too. But it's like being in the Sahara in a tin can. Have you got any ventilation? Have you got air con? What have you got? Well, yeah, I mean, in the van, it is just like incredibly warm. I've got some fans, but let's be honest, like fans and a skylight and windows, they're not going to make it cooler. You've been in a car in summer and they're just oh. sweat boxes. Are you, so you're not sleeping is, in there, are you? I'm sleeping in there, but at night the temperatures do drop a little bit. Um, but that's another reason to get up to this Whoa. like such such high level. What what uh, what tog have you got on your quilt? <laughs> I mean, it is the minimum. It is it is very very much just sheet weather today. Yeah, but you can't. I guess I guess at night you can't leave the back door open, can you, for security reasons? So you've got to, you've got to lock yourself in. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, at night the temperatures because the, it's completely clear the temperatures do drop a good amount, so it isn't. You know, that sometimes quite clammy heat that you get in the UK yeah. where it, it stays. It does drop off towards the afternoon and the nights are kind of bearable. But around 9 a.m., that's when it starts getting incredibly hot and you just have to go outside. No. Has the thought occurred to you? I don't know. It's just off the top of my head. This Has the thought occurred to you to come home? Uh, yes, would be a short answer. But, you know, none of my friends would ever accept that as an answer for coming home. You've been on a beautiful holiday in France. Why do you come home? Oh, it was too hot. Well, you know, it's not something I'm going to do. You, you're going to uh, end up. You're going to end up looking like someone who's run the marathon in a bin bag. You, you're <laughs> going to be about. You're going to be about two stone wet through. Well, I mean, it's one way to lose weight, right? I'm hoping it's going to be okay. I'm just trying to stay in the shade as much as possible. Give us a little image of where you are now, because the sun's out here, but obviously not as not as hot as where you are. So, what are you doing this very moment? So, this very moment, I'm very near the top of a high mountain pass. I've, I'm sat underneath an un overhanging rock with my chair underneath, my laptop on my knee, looking out over this huge like vista of incredible mountains um, that you just don't get in the UK. No. I mean, the view is worth it, if, if nothing else. Have you got shorts on? I'm a bit concerned now yes. for you. Yes, You've got shorts. Yes. Shorts right. are on. Okay, all right. Shorts well, are on, water's here, all right. I'm all good. Tim Dobson there in a, in a van, in the Alps, um, sweating. Uh, what are you doing tonight as you get ready for this sunshiny weekend? 